here we have a scroll view and multiple inputs inside it. We can choose one of these inputs and get the keyboard. But if we choose one of the inputs at the bottom, the keyboard covers the input and we can't reach it. So how do we solve this issue? How can we push the view up so when the keyboard is visible, we can still see what we're typing in the input? Now, first of all, if you look at Android, we can see that the problem is already solved. We don't need to do anything. It automatically pushes the view up. And the way it works is Android resizes the screen when the keyboard is shown. We can go to this file called androidmanifest.xml within Android app source main. Here we have androidmanifest.xml. When we open that file, we see that there's a setting called window soft input mode. And currently it is set to adjust resize. And uh, there are other options. Um, I'll be linking to the Android documentation for this setting in the show notes so you can check that out. So how do we solve this issue on iOS? One way to do that is to use a component called keyboard avoiding view. And this is something supplied by React Native itself. So you can see that I've imported it from React Native. And let's move these styles to keyboard avoiding view as that is now our container. And for this to work, we need to set the behavior property. And there are a few options we can use. And the first one is position, and then there's padding and height. And I can't tell you which one to use because it depends on how you styled your container. In this case, I will be using height, but you might wanna go through all these options and pick whichever one works best for your case. Now let's see what we have here on our iOS simulator and when we choose an input it automatically pushes the screen up and let's go to android and it's working fine on android as well another option which is what i prefer is to use a library called react native keyboard aware scroll view now let's see how we can use that first let's go to our terminal and add that to our project now I have added it to the project here. Let's change our keyboard avoiding view to keyboard aware scroll view. And we don't need this behavior prop anymore because it was for keyboard avoiding view. And we don't need to scroll view anymore because this will do the job off both the scroll view and the keyboard avoiding view. And also, even though I'm using a keyboard aware scroll view from this library, um, it also provides a keyboard aware section list and a keyboard aware flat list. So if you need those components, you can just use those versions as well. Now let's go to our iOS simulator here and we can see that it's still properly working. One thing I would like to improve is when we choose an input, let's say email, it's kind of hard to go to the next input. We need to first dismiss the keyboard and then choose the next one. I want to be able to have more of this input visible here so we can just easily move between inputs. And to do that, we can use the extra hide property of keyboard aware scroll view. Let's set this to 120 and see what we get. Now we choose email and password is clearly visible so we can just move to the next one. And we, we can move between all of these inputs. Now let's go back to Android and see what we have. We can choose one of these, but we can see that the extra height property is not applied here. And the reason for that is keyboard aware scroll view is by default turned off for Android. To be able to use this on Android, we need to first set the enabled enable on Android prop to true. We can just also use just this just by supplying it, it, it will be set to true. And we should also go to our Android manifest.xml file again and change Windows soft input mode to adjust pan. 
Now let's rebuild our Android app. It is now rebuilt and we can just go here. And when we pick one of these, the extra height is automatically added. All right, that's it for this episode. I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one.